from Ezra Miller to Daniel Radcliffe, and in fact, even Elon Musk, here are all the celebrities who want to boycott Johnny Depp, starting with the one and only Michael Mann. Let's just say the two were private enemies on the set of Public Enemies. If you read the tabloids, it's clear that Michael Mann and Johnny Depp are not the best of friends. The biographical crime drama Public Enemies, which came out in 2009, was made by the two of them. Even though the movie got great reviews, there were shocking claims that the real-life story was so gritty that it had to be toned down for audiences. One of the grittiest parts may have been what happened on set, though. So, why did these guys stop getting along? Well, there are a few reasons, like Johnny Depp's personal life and legal problems, and also director Michael Mann's opinion that Depp is no longer a reliable actor. The actor's personal life, including his divorce from Amber Heard and his ongoing legal battles, has been in the news for years. The director has said that his behavior takes him away from his work, and it shows that Johnny's personal life has affected his work, making him a less reliable actor. He's also criticized some of his acting choices, especially his work in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. He thinks that Depp's performance as Jack Sparrow was over the top and too cartoonish. This kind of acting doesn't fit with Mann's style of making serious and gritty movies, he says. And much like him, there's another celebrity, a very famous actress in fact, who can't seem to stand him on set. Yep, I'm talking about Angelina Jolie. The two actors may have been in some of Hollywood's best-known movies, but The Tourist wasn't one of them. Rotten Tomatoes gives the movie a terrible 20% rating, which may be in part because of how the two actors were together on screen. Because according to a magazine report, there was a lot of tension between them on set. Let's be clear though, magazines aren't exactly known for being truth-tellers. In fact, Jolie even mentioned that the two really enjoyed working with each other. But technically, isn't that what someone would say if they didn't enjoy working with the other person also? Hmm, interesting, is it not? The Pirates of the Caribbean actor was said to have thought that Brad Pitt's ex-wife was tense and self-centered. And on the other hand, Jolie supposedly thought Depp went out too much and was annoyed by his late nights and time spent practicing with the band Baby Bird, as well as his late arrivals on set. What's more, she was also disappointed that he didn't get in better shape for the role and didn't want to cut his hair. Although that does sound a little hard to believe, because Johnny's known for having long hair that's all over the place. So why does she care about it so much? We've got another celeb who isn't a fan, Ezra Miller. The actor's been in the news for their problems, so they aren't too happy to be dragged into someone else's. But recently, a video went viral showing them physically assaulting a fan in Iceland. In the video, Johnny Depp's name is mentioned, and Ezra can be heard saying, you think you're a good person? I don't. This has led many fans to speculate that they may have a personal vendetta against Johnny Depp. Not only this, but the star of Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, threw the production under the bus when he heard that Johnny Depp still had his big role after Amber Heard's widespread domestic abuse claims came out. The author, J.K. Rowling, strongly defended the casting choice on her website. She mentioned that both Heard and Depp expressed the desire to get on with their lives, but Miller didn't seem quite as happy with her choice. In an interview, journalist Ryan Gajewski said that questions about Depp's role in Crimes of Grindelwald left Miller unusually stumped. The actor said that none of the other actors were consulted and that none of them knew that Depp was involved. Miller then said something very vague. I would say that literally everything in my life is fine with me, including a lot of things that I don't like. So they both liked and didn't like Depp's role? It's not clear what that means, but I'm guessing they don't exactly sound like the biggest fans of the actor. 
this reminds me, do you know who else in the cast had problems with Johnny Depp? Daniel Radcliffe, the literal face of all things Harry Potter. He seemed just as upset as Ezra Miller about Johnny Depp being cast as Grindelwald in the 2018 film. The actor didn't hide his anger before Depp was fired from the series in 2020, even though he had earlier thanked the film's producers for giving him such an amazing job. So, in other words, Harry Potter knows better than to bite the hand that feeds him. He even compared the situation to the NFL, where some players get arrested for smoking weed, while others get away with much worse behavior because of their fame. The actor mentioned an actor who'd got thrown out of the Harry Potter films for smoking weed. He found it incredible that Depp was going to be let off with a slap on the wrist. Apparently, this was a reference to the actor Jamie Waylett, who was caught growing 10 marijuana plants. Whoa! Can someone tell me how he even managed to do that? Anyway, Radcliffe said that what's going on with Depp is very hard for him. Though I do feel like I should point out, Waylett has pleaded guilty to the marijuana charge. And even if that hadn't been enough, his arrest for carrying a petrol bomb during the 2011 London riots probably would have been enough to get him kicked out of Hogwarts. So that's that. And as if these people weren't enough, Johnny also managed to piss off the richest man in the world. Elon Musk, the man who's trying to normalize space travel, was brought into Mr. Stench's problems with Amber Heard, and he didn't seem too happy about it. He said that Depp was trying to set him up for cheating on his wife, even though he hadn't done anything wrong. In fact, it was reported that Grimes' baby daddy was brought into the mix when Depp sued Heard for $50 million for defamation in 2019. This happened after her opinion piece in the Washington Post, in which the actress said she'd been a victim of domestic abuse, which, of course, the actor strongly denied it. In his paperwork, he said that she started dating the founder of SpaceX when he had been out of the country. What's shocking is that he also added that it had been no later than one month after their wedding. The staff at the building where his penthouse is said to have seen Musk come in late at night and leave the next morning. Though it's funny because that's the exact opposite of what Musk's team says. A representative for the billionaire said Musk and Heard didn't start dating until May 2016, and that things didn't get romantic until sometime later. The relationship didn't last long, but in 2017, paparazzi caught them walking arm in arm, which was kind of like their first date. Then, later in a Twitter post, Musk also defended himself by saying that Depp's team put out video evidence of the alleged affair, but conveniently left out the date stamp. And according to him, at the time, Heard and Depp had already broken up. So, guys, these were the famous celebs who can't stand Johnny Depp. See you in the next video.